Hey guys, so just like last month, I thought I would share our January morning basket with you. I'm also gonna share what's on our bookshelf this week. Now obviously that changes week to week, but I may as well throw what's on our bookshelf this week in our monthly morning basket videos, just to give you some fresh ideas if you're looking for some. So here is what is in our January morning basket. I am very excited about this. This book is called The Forest Unseen, A Year's Watch in Nature, and basically this is a man who went and studied one square meter of the same patch of forest um, and he did journal entries throughout the year and so once a week or so I'm going to read a chapter with the kids. There's roughly four or five chapters for each month. So we do live in Florida so the forest, the mountains, things like that are not common around here. We don't encounter them on our nature study. But he actually wrote this about a section of the for uh, of Tennessee where we visited before, so I thought it would be great for our kids to um, kind of have a base knowledge based on what they've seen there and then use this to go off of that. So this is what we're going to add in once a week on the, the day that we do our nature study. Again, I have this morning exercises for all the year. This month I've got some of these Dover coloring books for the kids instead of an activity book just to change things up. I've got the Snakes of the World for Jesse, Bird Watchers for Bella, and the Baby Animals for Eli. And I shared these in my stocking stuffer video, but there's information about the animals in here, so it's a great addition to our morning basket. Now the activity books are something that we use to start the school day off. Um, some kids arrive to the table earlier than others while the others are wrapping up their chores. So this is, um, this is great for them to do while they wait. Kind of warm up their hands, get ready for school. Um, we've got our hymn books in here. I haven't chosen our January hymn yet, so uh, we'll see. We'll see which one we choose. Again, my journal's in here, my um, school planner. We are going to do Robert Frost for our poetry tea time this week, next week. I might switch it out later in the month, but they, this Poetry for Young People, this book has some of his winter poems in it. So we're going to be doing a winter themed unit with Eli for five in a row this month. So we're gonna throw that into our poetry tea time as well. And like I said last month, these are not things we do every single day, but they're, we do a few things each morning out of here. Um, we've got Owl Moon. The snowy day and Katie and the big snow as our kindergarten preschool level reads for Eli just to kind of keep him entertained at the table here. These are also five in a row titles that we'll be doing throughout the month with him. I don't know the order yet, but I do have my units prepared for those. And the kids will be a part of the five in a row units in the morning, part of our morning basket. We only do five in a row, like three in a row. So I've got the Children's Book of Virtues here. We're gonna be going through that for the next couple of months or so. And then just like last month, they have our Bible study in here. This is the Picture Smart Bible. For geography, we've got Hungry Planet and Material World in here. I'm just gonna have the kids pick this month because these uh, five in a row books are not big on the geography lesson. So the kids are just gonna be picking for geography out of that. Their handwriting curriculum is in here because that's a part of their clipboards. They've got their clipboards, which just like last month, has all of their handwriting pages, any printed pages we'll need for the week. Oh, this is Eli, so you can't like, okay. So we've got their handwriting sheets, their chore charts, their um, anything printed that they'll need for the week, um, lessons, individual lessons that they'll be working through with me. So everybody's clipboard is just a little different. We've got their Bible study pages, their math drills, so that's all on there. We have their devotionals. Now we do these with John when we first sit down to the table. He sits down with us and goes through the boys' devotional with them. I do Bella's with her. Then we're all seated and he takes off for work and we begin our school day the moment he walks out the door. So this is a part of our morning basket. So Isabella's is going through this, Your God's Girl, and the boys are doing A Boy After God's Own Heart. And then in the afternoons, which I keep in our morning basket just in case we're inspired to read more, they have Farmer Boy, that's what we're on right now. 
I have our story of the world for Tuesday and Thursday mornings when we read story of the world. And then just like you saw last month, we've got pencils, erasers, and our blue ribbons and all of that jazz. So that is what is in our January morning basket. I'd love to know what titles you swapped out for Christmas and put in in January in your morning basket or what other sorts of things you guys do. Now let's move on to our bookshelf. Okay. Here is our bookshelf for the week. Now up here we have any things that I have for Eli to read while the kids are doing science. They're loosely ocean themed. Um, he's not doing our science curriculum with us, but he wants to be involved. So um, up here I've got this Under the Sea Jigsaw book and um, the Us Born Build Your Own Pirate Ship sticker book. And then he's also got this Going to the Sea Park. I think he has one more in here. Yeah, good night ocean. So we live in Florida and that gives us, um, that means that we have a lot of books about the ocean. So I do change these around um, each week. Okay, so then this shelf here, this is for Eli's preschool. He's doing the letter G. So we have got the giving tree, green eggs and ham, the good night train, the night gardener. And yep, yeah, there's another one in here too had these arranged they could see them all but as they play with them and move things around some of them slip down this is go train go okay and then this shelf is what they're all currently reading right now so Jesse has been taking these books with him when he does his quiet time the how things work and the see inside exploration and discovery book and then this is what I'm reading with him he's not quite up to this reading level yet but he wants to hear the story so I'm reading the Bear Grylls adventure blizzard challenge with him Eli takes one of these two with him to his room and literally stays with this the whole time. He doesn't change it out for another one. So it's either this construction site shine a light book or this count to 100 book, which he loves. And he actually brings this um, into our morning time quite a bit now too because um, it's very colorful, super bright and colorful and it keeps him entertained and he does love counting everything. So there's that. And then Bella, she blows through books, but um, right now, today, she's reading this. So this was, she just read the Ella Diaries books in a week, and she read both the Nea books in a week, and so she's going, I don't know what book number this is. Bella, are you finished with your Billy B books? This is number six. She's on her last one, and she started this two days ago, so. Hers changes a lot. <laughs> and then this row down here, these are all just little board books that I will ask the kids to peek through with Annabeth if I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one lesson with another kid and she's needing some attention. So this reinforces Jesse's reading if he's reading to her and they're very simple books to read. This um, gives Eli something to do other than feed her Play-Doh <laughs> or, um, or just Bella loves playing mommy to her. So there's Jesus Loves Me. This was a gift from a cousin. This little ballerina dancing book is sweet because they have the moves in here, so they'll do them for her. And then we've got, this is another cousin gift, Frog on a Log. We've got the Finger Trail Playbook Garden and guess how much I love you. Oh, oh, this got thrown in there. I didn't put that in there. So yeah, that's what we've got on our shelf this week. I hope that gave you guys some ideas if you're looking for some, and I would love to know what is on your bookshelves for the month of January. See you later. Bye.